Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I thought I would go over our future plans for the Evo 10 MR. So I did this video just recently on my black Evo 10 and thought I should do the same for this car as we do also have a few plans for this car this year. So yeah, with that said, let's get into what we have planned. Okay, so as you can see, the car is pretty well sorted already. Um, there's not a crazy amount left we can do. Um, so Leticia wants to add a few carbon fiber touches. So she really wants some carbon fiber uh, side vents here. So these, when we got the car were, I think they were like Plasti Dipped. It was a really bad matte black paint job or Plasti Dipped. But yeah, I recently um, redid them. So I painted them gloss black, just rattle canned them, but they came out really well. I actually think it goes really well, matches the wheels and everything. Uh, but she really wants the carbon fiber ones. She wants to start sort of adding more carbon to the car and having it all sort of flow together, which I can completely understand. But yeah, so she wants a set of these. Um, I actually do have a set on my car. I'm thinking about removing because I'm kind of over them if I'm honest and I kind of like this look a bit better or what I'm also considering doing is just going no side vents at all. But anyway, that's about my car. So I won't talk about that in this video. But yeah, so she wants the carbon fiber um, Vera style version. Um, she has also been constantly sending me links to some Ganador mirrors. Um, she, you know, she likes my APR mirrors, but she doesn't quite like the size of them. Um, so it does just have stock mirrors with the carbon fiber mirror caps. Um, these aren't really put on very well. These were put on by the previous owner when we sold them to him. So these actually were ours previously. But yeah, so we've been ready to remove these and redo them because they're not really the best job putting them on. But she's kind of thinking about just getting some um, some Ganador mirrors or some charge speed mirrors or just something aftermarket. Um, so yeah, they're, they're not cheap and they're not easy to find, but that will be after we get our house. But yeah, it's sort of a bigger purchase, but yeah, that's something that she's definitely been talking about wanting to get. Um, coming around to the front of the car, she really wants to buy the honeycomb mesh style um, club spec customs uh, bonnet vents. So I was trying to talk her into just carbon fiber ones, but yeah, after my experience with a uh, rec speed, one of these, I don't really want to buy cheap carbon anymore. So something like that on the bonnet that you notice so much, like the side vents you can kind of deal with, I guess. You can, you know, they're sort of taped on. There's not so much they can go wrong. Whereas these, if it sticks out like crazy, it's going to look terrible. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with the club spec one. She's been wanting them for a long time. She's just trying to work out if she wants the old style or the new style, which is coming very soon. Uh, also at the front of the car, you can see we've got some holes there where the number plate bracket used to sit because the in Australia, the Evo 10s come with the number plate on the front. They have a big bracket that sort of goes all the way around there and the number plate um, bolts into that. But so she is trying to work out whether she wants to get a carbon fiber one, but again, worried about issues with carbon fitment on a piece like that or if she should do what I did, um, which was get these holes filled. And we also have an extra hole over here. Get these all filled um, and smoothed out and then paint this whole piece gloss black like the final edition has, which is where I got my inspiration from. Um, and then possibly even delete this badge. So chop this off and just do a full badge delete and fill that hole there. And just so it's one piece that's just gloss black. Um, that's what I have on my car and I really like it, but she's, yeah, weighing out whether she wants to do that as well. So those are all little things coming for the exterior. If I come around to the back of the car, um, it already has the full aero kit. So yeah, the side skirts and the front lip, the rear spats, and even the little um, gurney on the wing. So yeah, obviously looks great. Um, before anyone asks about the tail lights, um, neither Letitia or myself are a fan of the aftermarket tail lights. Just it, all headlights, they're just not for us. Um, I like these better. If anything, we'll get the ones that I have, which have this orange section um, clear. So the same as that. But yeah, not a fan of aftermarket sort of Audi or any other sort of those aftermarket tail lights. I know a lot of uh, people run them. And I think it's actually, it's, less common like it's you know your car's more unique if you have the stock tail lights so those are going to be staying um did recently just black out this um, third brake light which she wanted me to do for her um and just quickly as we pass through i will black out this um 
badge or button to pop the boot. But that brings us down to these rally art heat shields. Now these are a really nice touch. Um, they're very rare and you don't really see them very often at all. So these came on the car, something really cool because they're, yeah, like I said, they're very rare. They go for a decent amount of money and you can find them. But Letitia doesn't really like the look of them. She doesn't want the um, stainless. She even said, should we paint them black? And I said, no, we're not painting them black because yeah, they're, they're a rare piece that go for good money. So she wants the carbon fiber exhaust heat shields that you can buy, they're the same as this. You can't just remove these like she originally wanted because there is some, now some screw holes. There will be holes either side. So she wants to get the carbon fiber ones. Um, so yeah, we'll probably do that. Probably end up keeping these. I don't think I'll put them on my car, but we'll keep them because they're just such a, a nice touch um, and a rare part. So yeah, worth holding on to. But I think that is about it for the exterior. Some of the future plans that are happening very soon, um, and I say soon, I mean like, yeah, the next couple of weeks are happening in the engine bay. So what I'll do is I'll go over and I'll pop the bonnet and we'll talk about what we've got planned in there. Okay, so open this up. Now, probably gonna, camera's gonna have a bit of trouble with the different lighting, really dark at the back. But as you can see, the engine bay, pretty nice already. Uh, we've got our, if you excuse the, the all the water spots and the polish residue, because I haven't actually cleaned here since I did the polish on the car. But yeah, we have our APR carbon fiber cooling tray, which is a really nice piece. Um, we have this wrinkle black upper nickel of piping uh, intake piping, the lower nickel of piping also, and also a wrinkle black um, driven fab catch can, I guess. Also this um, Club Spec Customs power steering reservoir cover. So those are all wrinkle black, and then we've got a few more black pieces, so I'm actually thinking I'll be taking this off and taking it to a powder coater, getting this also done in wrinkle black, so this all flows. So then that'll all be looking great, but we need some actual color into the engine bay which is going to be mainly on the valve cover, which is really lacking. It's just the aluminium valve cover, unpainted, just with the plastic cover removed. So yeah, we wanna get this painted. Um, so I'm actually removing this, the fuel rail and the strut bar, and they're all going off to get professionally painted. I was going to do it myself, I just thought, just kind of want it done properly with some really nice gloss to it and something that's going to last. So yeah, it's getting done professionally. I'm not going with powder coating as I'm just worried about the, the baffles and you know, sand from when sandblasting getting in there and you hear those horror stories. So we're just going with some paint. Um, and which the good part about that is if Letitia doesn't like it, we can then change it again. Those powder coating is going to be a bit harder to remove and get redone. So yeah, I won't say the color we're going is we're still kind of deciding that I'm pretty sure we know what we're doing, but that's going to really, once that's done, the engine bay is going to look a lot more presentable. Um, it already does look great, um, like I said, with the parts we already have, and also the wire tuck we have. So that was done when the engine was put in. So it's the NRG Ops wire tuck, so hides all the wires that are down around the intake manifold, um, everything up, you know, the Mybeck wires that run over here. Um, so that's done. I think once it's all painted, and I give it a good clean again, engine bay is going to be really a nice thing to look at. And then I have also got a carbon coil cover for her to go on once it's all painted. So that will be completely done. And then to match that, we also want to get some carbon fuse covers. So for these two, um, so yeah, they are all coming pretty soon, all that stuff. Oh, we'll have the next few months, I should say. The painting stuff is happening in the next few weeks. But other than that, the car's making great power. There's no need for any more performance mods. Um, it's making 289 kilowatts on 24 pounds of boost. I will getting will be getting it retuned because we're going to add a flex fuel kit to it. So I want to get the tuner to add just a little bit more power, uh, a little bit more boost, sorry, which will equal a little bit more power. So 24 pounds at the moment at uh, 289 kilowatts at the wheels. So we'll bump it up to around 26 pounds of boost and see if we can get it, you know, around the 295 kilowatts. It'd be great if we could get to the 300 kilowatt mark, but I'm not um, expecting that. But yeah, if we do, that'd be great. So yeah, all we really want to do performance wise, I guess if you can call it performance, is a flex fuel kit. So waiting on the NRG Ops flex fuel kit version two to come out. I have the version one at the moment. Um, I was impatient, didn't want to wait. And so Letitia's car will get the version two with like a Bluetooth module so you can monitor the ethanol levels. 
via your phone or the Android head unit that's in the car. So that will be really great. Um, and I guess you can count this performance. One other thing that we have to do, um, it's not really anything that's gonna change the look of the car or anything, but we need to get the coilovers rebuilt, or at least one of them, uh, as the car does have a bit of a, sort of a knock or a rattle in the rear suspension. Um, we went through everything thinking, trying to find what it was, pulled the seat out and um, pulled, stripped the car back, pulled all the boot lining out, um, checked the sway bar, the end links, everything, and everything seems fine. It must be the coilovers, which is what we were told originally. We just wanted it to be something a little bit cheaper. But yeah, so we're gonna get the coilovers rebuilt. So the MCA purple coilovers, um, which is a pretty good um, MCA coilover. And yeah, just need to be rebuilt. They're about, I don't know, six years old or something, I think now, seven years old even. So get those rebuilt, probably just all four of them, I guess. We'll see how we go. But yeah, so that's something that we need to do performance-wise. But other than that, that's it for the sort of exterior and performance of the car. Uh, what we do have is a few plans for the interior. So I'll close this bonnet back up and we'll jump inside the car and we'll talk about what we have planned in there. All right, guys, so into the car, as you can see, it's a pretty nice place to be. Um, I have recently, if you watch videos, done a full blackout on the roof lining. So yeah, painted the lights and the grab handles and the interior pillars black. And then I've got the roof lining retrimmed. So interior is already looking a lot nicer than what it was. Um, if you watch my most recent video, which was me trying to install the SST surround and the leather armrest, when I say trying to install this, I actually didn't get it done. So I bought the later model MR piece, which has the, close this door, which has the piano black and stainless, but I realized I need the cubbies. So I've actually ordered now two sets. So both myself and Letitia will have the piano black cubbies two doors and the updated SST surround. Um, also, I want to add a bit more suede to her car because I've done it to mine recently, if you watch my videos, but her seats actually have suede on them. So I think if I do the pillars like I've done in my car in suede and also the uh, parcel shelf back there, um, I think that will really sort of, I don't know, is classy up a term, classy up the interior. Um, but yeah, and then other than that, um, interior is already pretty well sorted. Um, possibly a new handbrake. Um, this is just like the basic one, so I wouldn't mind getting the leather stitched one or the carbon one like I have. Um, and also I want to get the little door for the cup holder, so you can sort of, if you have change sitting there like we do at the moment, you can just sort of close it. But those are all just little OEM pieces. So that's pretty much it for the interior. Like it's already so well sorted. We have, you know, fire extinguisher bracket and some carbon bits already, um, fully blacked out and gauges. So yeah, that's about it for the interior. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end of the video there because I believe that is all our future plans for the car. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully we can get all these things that are listed done. I'm sure there'll be more that will get done over the year as well and oh, over the future. I don't know if this will all get done in the year, but yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up down below if you did. And yeah, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos like this on this Evo 10 and also my Evo 10. But yeah, with that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.